Happy Tuesday! My name is Tiffany Van Boxtel from SingBetterIn3Days.com where I can teach you how to sing better in just three days. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to sing so that the vowel E sounds better. Let's do the first exercise, then I'll give you the tip. Here's the first exercise. I'm going to demonstrate it for you, then I'm going to cue you and you can sing. Sometimes I'll sing with you, and sometimes I'll get out of your way. Your turn. We're just gonna do the exercise. Women are up here, guys are down here. Women. So, whether you're a woman or you're a man, you're gonna take your middle register. You say go! Women, you're up there. Keep going! Nice. That was nice. Great job. Here are some of the problems with the vowel shape E. A lot of people think that the vowel shape E goes side to side. So when they try to sing, they try to open up side to side. And then as you can even hear in my speaking voice, the tone just goes really side to side, really flat. And it doesn't sound as mature and open or sultry as this. No, I'm no, I'm just kidding. But it really doesn't sound as good when you're singing and it's not as easy to sing. So that's the first difficulty is that we think it goes side to side. The second difficulty is the shape that the tongue makes when we're singing E. When we say the word E, our tongue makes a hump in the back of the throat and it sends the sound back, which can make it difficult to sing out difficult to sing loud and difficult not to sound throaty or just plain get the sound out there. Especially for people with really unusually long tongues. No big deal, it's a part of your body, but if you can like touch your nose with your tongue or whatever, then you have a pretty long tongue. So this is going to help you out. Even if you don't, it's going to help you lay your tongue flat. Our job here is to get our tongue to lay flat. This is going to allow the sound to come out better and smoother. So we're gonna drop and lay the tongue flat, and here is the exercise that's going to help you with that. <laughs> Sticking my tongue out, and I'm actually going to be pulling it down when I sing. I'm gonna say the vowel E over the top of it and sing the pattern. Your job is to just keep pulling that tongue down. This is just an experiment. It's a working exercise for you. So don't worry about how you sound. Just go for it and do it with me. Pull it down. Good, really pull it. Nice. Very good. All right, so now while your tongue is nice and stretched out, what we're going to do is we're going to just use that feeling and we're going to try to transfer it into the next exercise and see how much easier it is and how much better that you sound. 
Your only job is going to be to try to put your tongue right behind your bottom front teeth. Otherwise, let the previous exercise do its work for you because your tongue should already feel kind of stretched out. So let's test it out. We're gonna test it out on a Z. You're gonna drop, make a big Z sound. Z. Your turn, come on. Big Z. Tongue behind bottom front teeth. Awesome! So you should feel like this was a lot easier now that your sound was projected forward. I know I noticed a difference while I was singing my exercises with you. So you should notice a big difference too. This is going to help you with any vowel that's an E. It can be a low vowel E, it can be a high vowel E, but before you sing it, if you notice that you're sounding kind of side to side or you can't quite reach the note or it's not coming out with the tone that you want, Try that tongue exercise. Get that tongue out and just kind of hum over the part where you're having problems and then stick your tongue back in your mouth and try it again. My name is Tiffany Van Boxel with SingBetterIn3Days.com where I can teach you how to sing better in three days. You can go to SingBetterIn3Days.com right now to sign up for the Sing Better in 3 Days voice lesson video course. It's free, it's gonna have you singing better in just three days. We'll see you next Tuesday.